Hi guys, uh, this is the second part of my video series on fretboard visualization. Um, so I've changed the camera angle slightly. I hope you can see what I'm doing here on the guitar. So um, uh, we have already covered that um, here on the low E string on fret 3 we have a G, here we have an A, a C. And then on fret 12 you have your note of the string, the E. So this is also one of the orientation points you can remember. So just remember first of all three points, uh, G, A and C. So let's move on to the next string. And my method is devised in such a way that the last note I play on one string is the is the first note on the next string so if you have your c over here then here on fret um on on the a string fret three we have our c so here we start with c d and e so three five and seven this time so c d and e and of course here you have your a next string so here I ended with the note E and I start with the E on the next string. Uh, D string, second fret, here's your E. Then we move up to G and then to A. Right, so we have uh, fret two, five and seven. So E, G and A. And of course here's your, your D. You have a, a wide range of the fretboard covered. Um, it's really simple because what you can now do is uh, when we just look at the E, A and D string, we could for example say, okay, what note is that? Because it's not part of our reference points. But since we have remembered that this is a, this is a G, then we just um, know exactly that this is a G sharp or an A flat, right? And we, and we know on fret uh, 2, the D, the D string, with an E, and if you want to know what that note is, you know exactly, okay, between E and F you have your natural half step, that this must be an F. Okay, let's move on to the next string. I ended on the uh, D string, fret uh, 7, with the note A, and we have the A on uh, the G string, fret 2. Here's the A. And here's your C, and here's your D. So you have A, C, D, and of course again the G over here. So A, C, D, and G. So fret 2 is A, 5 is C, and fret 7 is a D on the G string. Let's move on. So the last note was a D. I look for my D on the on the B string. It's fret three on the B string is a D, D, E, and G. So fret three, five, and eight. D, E, and G. And then again, um, just as with the low E string. If you have here your uh, G, the G on the high E string is here, fret 3, G, A, and C. So really simple method, uh, just practice that. And then this will help you to also identify all the points on the fretboard, all the notes that you have not learned. So you 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 don't need to um, you don't need to uh, memorize all the notes on the fretboard. So just um, uh, see this as a roadmap, basically. So if you know that this is an A, you know that this is an A flat, for example, G sharp. If you know that this is an A, you know this is an A flat or G sharp. Or if you want to know what that note is here, if you know that this is the note of the string, the D, then you know that this is a C, for example. Just move down a whole step. So all you need to know is that one fret is a half step and then you have uh, a natural half step between the note B and C and between E and F and that's it basically. Um, really simple so just uh, for example 
write down the chromatic notes, so C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and so forth. Note them down and um, see where you can find the notes on the fretboard and memorize this uh, visualization technique I've showed you. So I go through it once more, one more time. <clears throat> G, A, and C. C, D, and E. E, G, and A. A, C, and D. D, E, and G. And G, A, and C. And here you have E, B, G, D, A, and E. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I will make more interesting videos soon. Um, take care guys and talk to you soon.